For 22 years, the International Space Station, ISS, stood as the solitary outpost in orbit. Aside from a brief interlude from 1986 to 2001, when the Russian Mir station operated, spearheaded by five collaborating space agencies, the United States, Russia, Japan, Canada, and the European Space Agency. This multinational endeavor held sway over space. However, it now faces a rival. And this rival is no one other than China's Tiangong Space Station. The International Space Station ISS. The ISS stands as a colossal habitat boasting a total habitable volume of 13,696 cubic feet, surpassing the spaciousness of a typical six-bedroom house and sprawling across an expanse roughly equivalent to that of a football field. Its construction was a monumental endeavor, spanning a decade and necessitating 30 distinct missions. Comprising 16 modules, each meticulously crafted on Earth, the ISS modules were ferried into orbit and intricately assembled over the course of 10 years. Commencing in 1998, the initial components were launched into space, with subsequent missions adding to the station's framework. Since 2010, the ISS has served as a continuous home for astronauts, embodying humanity's enduring presence in space. Located at an average altitude of 250 miles above Earth's surface, the station completes a full orbit around the planet every 90 minutes, offering a breathtaking vista of our home world. While typically accommodating a maximum of six astronauts, there have been instances of heightened occupancy. Notably, in 2009, the station played host to an extraordinary assembly of 13 individuals simultaneously, setting a remarkable record for human presence in space. Throughout the majority of its existence, the ISS primarily served as a domain for government entities, led by the United States in collaboration with key partners such as Russia, Europe, Japan, and Canada. Additionally, 19 other nations contributed to specific projects throughout its history. However, recent years have witnessed a significant shift as the ISS began welcoming commercial space ventures. In response, NASA has been contemplating the prospect of ultimately transitioning full operational control of the station to the private sector, China's exclusion from the ISS and the birth of its own space station. China finds itself conspicuously absent from the ISS consortium, as it remains explicitly prohibited from participating in the station due to the Wolf Amendment enacted by Congress. This legislative restriction bars NASA from utilizing its funding to engage in collaborative endeavors with China. The rationale behind this exclusion encompasses concerns over human rights violations and intellectual property theft within the context of a broader geopolitical rivalry between China and the United States. Despite occasional calls for China's inclusion in the ISS program, the intricate web of geopolitical dynamics renders such a scenario highly improbable. Consequently, China has embarked on its own ambitious venture to construct and establish its own space station. The birth and ambitions of China's Tiangong space station. Named after the Chinese term for heavenly palace, the Tiangong space station comprises three principal components, the primary Tianhe service module, two laboratories, docking stations, and solar arrays. With future expansion plans envisioning a total of six modules, including a second Tianhe core module, the completed station is projected to weigh 66 metric tons and offer a habitable area of 3,884 cubic feet, sufficient to accommodate three astronauts comfortably. In terms of scale, Tiangong mirrors the dimensions of the Russian Mir station and NASA's former Skylab. Operating at an orbit ranging between 211 to 280 miles above Earth, Tiangong will share a similar altitude with the ISS. Employing a construction strategy reminiscent of the ISS's assembly, China is fabricating the station's modules on Earth before assembling them in orbit. This modular design affords Tiangong the versatility to accommodate various components, facilitating future adjustments and upgrades. China's progress with the Tiangong station. China's venture with the Tiangong station marks its third foray into establishing an orbital platform leveraging invaluable insights gleaned from its preceding endeavors. Prior to Tiangong's inception, China launched two space laboratories in 2011 and 2016, serving as test beds to refine its space station construction technologies. 
These labs have since completed their missions and have been intentionally deorbited. Engineered with a projected lifespan of approximately a decade, the Tiangong station is poised to endure the rigors of space, with the potential for extension beyond its initially designated time frame. In contrast, the ISS, a veteran in continuous occupation, has surpassed twice the anticipated duration of Tiangong's projected lifespan. While Tiangong represents the newcomer in the realm of orbital platforms, the venerable ISS confronts an uncertain future. NASA's commitment extends the ISS's operation at least through 2024, with discussions among its partners considering an extension until 2028. Post-2028, the fate of the ISS remains ambiguous, with possibilities ranging from controlled de-orbiting to repurposing its components for future orbital habitats. Power Supply Systems ISS versus Tiangong Both the International Space Station ISS, and Tiangong rely on solar power to sustain their operations. The ISS employs photovoltaic technology, where solar cells directly convert sunlight into electrical energy. Arrays of solar cells are intricately assembled to generate high power levels. However, this process can inadvertently generate excess heat, posing a risk to spacecraft equipment. To counteract this, the ISS utilizes radiators positioned to dissipate heat away from the spacecraft, shielding them from direct sunlight and directing them toward the frigid depths of space. In contrast, Tiangong's power system consists of two steerable solar power arrays situated on each module. These arrays utilize gallium arsenide photovoltaic cells to convert sunlight into electricity. Additionally, the station incorporates energy storage mechanisms to sustain power during periods when it is not exposed to sunlight. While these power generation methods may seem similar at first glance, there are notable distinctions. Tiangong relies on solar arrays, whereas the ISS utilizes large retractable wings composed of solar cells. These solar array wings, abbreviated as SOAR, are the largest ever deployed in space. Each wing, weighing over 2,400 pounds, can extend up to 35 meters, 115 FTs in length, and 12 meters, 39 FTs in width when deployed. Collectively, the four sets of arrays can generate an impressive 84 to 120 kilowatts of electricity, a capacity ample enough to power more than 40 homes. Structural contrasts. Constructed around the Tianhe core module, the Tiangong space station features a centralized structure serving as its primary hub. This core module fulfills a multifaceted role, providing essential functions such as life support, accommodations for a three-person crew, and critical systems for guidance, navigation, and orientation control. Additionally, the Tianhe module houses pivotal components, including power generation, propulsion, and life support systems. Its layout comprises three distinct sections, living quarters, a service section, and a docking hub. In contrast, the ISS adopts a dual-section configuration. The Russian Orbital Segment, ROS, under Russia's operational purview, and the United States Orbital Segment, USOS, managed by the United States in collaboration with various international partners, form the station's distinct halves. Each segment encompasses its own set of living quarters and scientific laboratories, facilitating a division of operational responsibilities and scientific endeavors among the contributing nations. Modular Comparison The Chinese space station, Tiangong, is currently configured with three modules. The Tianhe Core Module, the Wentian Laboratory Cabin Module, and the Mengtian Laboratory Cabin Module. In contrast, the International Space Station, ISS, boasts a substantial assembly of 16 modules, with plans for the addition of two more. The ISS's diverse module composition reflects contributions from multiple nations. It includes five Russian modules, Zarya, Pierce, Zvezda, Poisk, and Rasvet, eight US modules, Beam, Leonardo, Harmony, Quest, Tranquility, Unity, Cupola, and Destiny. Two Japanese modules, the GEM LMPS and GEM PM, and one European module, Columbus. While Tiangong's module count may seem modest in comparison, its focused design underscores China's deliberate approach to space station development. In contrast, 
the ISS's extensive array of modules highlights the collaborative efforts of its international partners, each contributing unique capabilities to this iconic orbital outpost. Robotic arms and airlocks. The International Space Station, ISS, boasts highly versatile and efficient robotic arms and airlocks, features notably absent from the Chinese space station. According to NASA, the ISS's robotic arms are installed externally and serve multifaceted roles. These robotic arms were instrumental in constructing the space station and are capable of aiding astronauts during extravehicular activities, spacewalks, by facilitating their movement. Additionally, some robotic arms are dedicated to operating scientific experiments. The ISS is equipped with airlocks that provide access to the external environment for astronauts conducting spacewalks. Docking ports are also present, enabling spacecraft to connect with the space station. These ports serve as entry points for new crews and visitors, including arrivals via the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Moreover, robotic spacecraft utilize the docking ports to deliver essential supplies to the ISS, ensuring its sustained operation. Docking Systems Tiangong's adaptation of the Russian APAS system. Tiangong is equipped with the Chinese docking mechanism, which draws inspiration from the Russian androgynous peripheral attach system, APAS 89, APAS 95. This system is notably utilized by the Shenzhou spacecraft and has been incorporated into previous iterations of Tiangong prototypes. There have been assertions suggesting that Tiangong's docking system closely resembles the APAS system potentially enabling compatibility with the ISS's docking system. However, conflicting viewpoints argue that despite similarities, the two systems may not be entirely compatible. Purpose The International Space Station, ISS, and Tiangong share a common mission to serve as testing grounds for spacecraft systems essential for extended missions to destinations like the Moon and Mars. The China Manned Space Agency CMSA, responsible for operating Tiangong, has outlined the space station's objectives as follows. Advancing spacecraft rendezvous technology, achieving breakthroughs in critical areas such as sustained human presence in orbit, long-term autonomous spaceflight capability, regenerative life support systems, and autonomous supply technology for cargo and fuel, conducting trials of next-generation orbital transportation vehicles facilitating large-scale scientific and practical endeavors in orbit, and pioneering technologies to support future deep space exploration. These statements underscore both the ISS and Tiangong's pivotal roles in pushing the boundaries of space exploration and fostering technological advancements crucial for humanity's journey into the cosmos. Experiments While conducting a direct comparison of experiments between the two stations may present challenges, it's important to highlight the ambitious scientific agenda outlined by Tiangong. The station is equipped with over 20 experimental racks, each providing enclosed and pressurized environments conducive to scientific inquiry. With a staggering capacity to accommodate more than 1,000 experiments, as provisionally approved by the China Manned Space Agency, CMSA, Tiangong is poised to become a prolific hub of scientific exploration. These experiments span a diverse array of scientific disciplines, mirroring the breadth of research domains explored by the ISS. They encompass investigations in space life sciences and biotechnology, delving into the effects of microgravity on biological organisms and exploring potential applications in healthcare and biotechnology. Additionally, Tiangong facilitates research in microgravity fluid dynamics and combustion, shedding light on fundamental principles underlying fluid behavior and combustion processes in space environments. Material science experiments conducted aboard Tiangong focus on elucidating the behavior of materials in microgravity conditions, offering insights into their properties and potential applications in various industries. Furthermore, fundamental physics experiments delve into the intricacies of physical phenomena in microgravity providing invaluable contributions to our understanding of fundamental scientific principles. Overall, Tiangong's expansive experimental agenda underscores its pivotal role as a platform for scientific inquiry, poised to advance our understanding across a multitude of scientific disciplines while contributing to the broader goals of space exploration.